Hello, I'm Ken Burrell from pragmaticpmo.com and today's video is called Watch Out for Watermelons in Project Reports. So what is watermelon reporting? How can you spot it? Where does it come from? Why should we watch out for it? And what can you do about it if you find it? Watermelon reporting describes the phenomenon where according to a project status report, everything is green on the outside, so there are no problems and everything's going to plan. But if you delve into the detail, what you find is that actually the project is red on the inside, right through to the middle, like a watermelon. So as a PMO, how can you spot watermelon reporting? I think it's about keeping your eyes and ears open, uh, listen to what the team members, the project team members are talking about, maybe at the coffee machine, and compare that with what's in the status report. So if the status report is saying everything is green, but the team members are restless, then that might be your cue to look into more detail. For example, in the plans, um, project sprints are being completed on time perhaps, but are they covering all the scope that they were supposed to? In the risk and issues log, is there thing, are there things in there that are more serious and pressing than the status report would imply? That kind of thing. So where do these watermelons come from? What are the factors that might lead a project manager to report a project as green when it's really red? Firstly, it's embarrassing for a project manager to admit that their project isn't going as well as it could or should be. Reporting as red increases the risk that the project will be cancelled. And we all know what happens to project managers whose projects keep getting cancelled, don't we? Maybe the problem really ought to have been reported as amber quite some time ago, and to report it as red now would just highlight the fact that it wasn't being reported properly before, causing the project manager more embarrassment. The project manager may believe that there's still the opportunity to turn the project around before the next status report is due, and then no one will need to know that the project was ever read, will they? There may be an organisational culture that says, we don't have red projects here, to which I would say, well, yes, you do. But if you don't let people report them as red, then you probably don't get to hear about problems until it's too late. Looking at all these reasons, I think you can see that most of them come from the assumption that having a red project is a bad thing and that this is usually the project manager's fault. So effectively, the project organisation has a blame culture. So why should we watch out for watermelon reporting? Well, concealing red status inside a green status report is seldom a good idea for the following reasons. The sooner a problem is identified, generally the cheaper it is to rectify. The sooner a project manager escalates problems to their sponsor, the more likely it is that the sponsor will hear about those problems from the project manager themselves, rather than from another senior stakeholder with an axe to grind, for example. The sooner the sponsor hears about the problem, the more time they have to perhaps mobilise resources to help, pave the way for a resolution, or manage the message that's being given out to other stakeholders. Unfortunately, the consequences of a concealment being discovered generally get worse the longer that a concealment persists. And rather like when children lie to their parents, this is a case of when rather than if. People always get found out. If the project really is red enough to be cancelled, then doing this is probably in the best interests of the organisation. No project manager will win friends by keeping a bad project going for longer than it really should be. Of course, the project manager should not be flagging every little issue and running to the sponsor every half hour with problems. The project manager is paid to sort most of these things out for themselves. But they should be flagging the project as red when any of the main constraints, so things like budget, schedule, quality or benefits, any of those is seriously threatened and feeling no shame at all in doing so. I guess I'm saying red needs a rebrand. Red should not be seen as an indicator that there is or should be blood spilt onto the corporate carpet. Instead, red should be seen as the colour of the distress flare that the project manager is effectively sending up to alert the stakeholders to the fact that there's trouble on the project and that maybe some tough decisions need to be taken. As a PMO, whenever I see watermelon reporting, I encourage the project manager to be brave and honest enough to ask for the help that the project needs. What do you think? Do you see watermelon reporting? If you do see it, what do you do about it? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful and interesting, please like it or even better leave a comment. You may also be interested to visit my website pragmaticpmo.com where you'll find book reviews, articles and other videos on project management topics. In the meantime, until the next time, thanks for watching.